na mga panggirigyan sa lahat, salamat po sa oras na ito na kami ay inipon nyo sa lugar na ito upang kami ay magpuri, sumamba, magpasalamat, at magfellowship. Salamat, Panginoon, dahil nandito pa sa aming palagit na. Dalangin ko ang malayang pagkilos ng banal na spirito upang ang ano bang mensahe na yung mensahe sa bawat isa sa amin ay tunay po na tumibo sa aming mga puso, matanggap ang may kagalakan, may kasiyahan upang kami ay lalabas sa lugar na ito o sa camp na ito na tunay na pinagpala. Kaya Lord, pangusap na po kayo kami bilang isang iglesia, bilang community of praise family ay patuloy na nagpapasakop sa iyo at ang aming tanggili ay pangunahan niyo nga po ang iglesia nito. Gamitin niyo ang inyong lingkod niyo sa pagpapahayag ng inyong salita at nawa ang bawat isa na narito ay tunay po na magkaroon ng pusong handang makinig at tumanggap na mga pagpapala na nagpumula sa iyo. Salamat po, ito ang aking dalangin sa mga pangiriyang pangalan ng aming Diyos at Tagapagintas na si Jesus. At ang lahat ay magsabi na, Amen! 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 Harapan natin ang ating Panginoon! Hallelujah! Alright! Praise God! Are you blessed today? Amen! 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 Praise God! Tayo po, ngayon ay nagkakatipon-tipon sa ating Family Camp 2023. Okay? So, welcome everyone to our Family Camp 2023. Come on! Alamayin natin mga pangyayon! Hallelujah! Okay? Pakisabi sa katabi mo, salamat at nandito ka. Glory to God. Okay. Well, praise God. The last time that we did this here, also at Rizal, I know of 2018. Ano po? Okay? 2018. So, five years ago. So, kaya kung mapapansin nyo, may mga pictures dyan, ano? Sabi ko nga kay Bea kanina, yung green na suot niya na focus on Jesus. Yun yung uniform nun eh. Kaya sa likod, 20 years. So, praise God. And after 20 years, ay andito po tayo ngayon, kaya tayo po muli ay magkasama-sama. Praise God. So, well, indeed, as your pastor, I am happy that you are here. And together with my wife, Hazel, we welcome you to our family camp. I like to call my wife, Hazel. Alika, Hazel, okay? Kaya kami po ay meron ang mensahe sa inyo. Okay? Kaya kung meron kami ang mensahe, ito po yun. We love you, comrades. We love you all with all our hearts. We love you, thank you, God. We love to thank you because you are all a blessing to us. Kaya maraming maraming salamat po. We love you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, God. Okay. Ikaw mag-reach. Okay. Yeah. Well, again, I'd like to express my heartfelt appreciation and thanks to everyone for being here. Okay, so thank you. That means you are here because you are part of my family. Amen. Amen. Okay. Yes, I am happy to see you all. We're blessed. We belong to this church family, and I love you all. By God's grace, alam niyo. When we were planning about this October Praise 2023, sa Sunday na lang, sa Siluns, you know? Okay, at the way, the inner group, Sister Ludi, you know, kasi it's 25th anniversary celebration, we asked God what would be the best way to celebrate as a church family together for one weekend. Okay, for... Sa month of October, kasi nga, month-long celebration. 
you know, the pandemic has set us apart physically for more than two years. Di ba ba? Wala physical activity as a church. And it's been five years since we had our last family retreat. Alam nyo, marami na mga nadagdag na families, marami na mga nagkagwapuhan at nagkagandang young people. So, para kayo nila maniwala. Amen ba? Kaya, and God, our, you know, are adding to the church and God impressed in our heart. So, why not a family ka as part of our 25th anniversary? So, this is our part of the anniversary. So, but sabi namin, a family camp na I said this time, let us encourage everyone ano, to join at walang may iiwan. Tama po ba? Yeah. Dahil, uh, dahil wala lang pagbayad, parang, you know, hindi kami masaya na hindi nakasama yung iba. Kasi siguro ngayon kung meron mga hindi nakasama, that is because uh, meron talagang importante yung ginawa o may pinuntahan. Di ba? But, you know, I praise God that uh, at least uh, you are here today. So, so dapat ay hindi maging hadlang ang pambayad sa family camp. Sabi natin. Kasi, family nga eh. Di ba ba? Kaya ba pag nagpapano kayo ng family vacation nyo? Sabi mo, okay, may iwan si Bunso, si ka naman ngayon. Hindi, di ba ba? So lahat sama-sama. Sabi ko, Well, 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 punta tayo sa lugar na walang bising magluluto, bising mamamalike, o bising magsiset ng table o maghuhugas ng plato, at kung ano-ano pa. So sabi, namin nila Tita Luli, at iway ang gawin natin ito sa isang magandang lugar na puro green ang team. Ay, hindi pala. Ay, ano yun? Okay. Hindi na ka sa ating Panginoon as part of our 25th year anniversary. Kaya kung kayo ay natuwa na nandito kayo, may palakpa kayo naman ang ating yes. Alam nyo, when we have that in our minds, so we go, okay, so let's ask elders to set aside fund or seed money yung kagad na nauna namin. And by faith, sabi ko, yung part na, okay, i-raise natin, let's raise it by faith. Pero let us strategize na hindi tayo maliningil isa-isa. By faith, gawa din ang envelope na nasa bawat isa na kung magkano ibigay. Amen po ba? Okay? While we figure out how much will it cost for each person here, Sinasabi naman natin, para by faith to magkaroon yung raise ko, di po ba? So, kasi yun po yun. Pero, never kami sumingil, di po ba? Na, oh, dapat ito bayaran mo, ito one. Because, sabi natin, okay, linggo-linggo, magbigay, kahit magkano. Iba mag-contribute, mag-fundraising, uh, and uh, ang iba, magtabi ng mga barya-barya para makasama lahat at walang may iwan. Eh, family kasi. Di ba ba? Walang may iwan. Doon magkikita na yun yung cooperative effort at unity na yun sa church family. Eh, family kasi. Di ba ba? Honestly, natatsa ko maraming mga generous people inside this church. Amen. Baka natabi mo kayo sa kasalanatan mo. God will not provide for you. Uh, 
And also, sige, ito naman, hindi natin sa Elder Sport to set aside, pero ito by faith. Okay, nag-project na tayo, di ba? 430 people, sabi, ilang tayo? 124. Oh, may isang naiwan pala ang Manila. <laughs> so, you see, kasi sinabi natin ito, okay, pag ito yung one cost dito, ito ganito ang cost, di po ba? Ito ang i-rarings natin. So, in a way, I praise God for generous people, generous family members who are here, alam ni Lord kung sino sila, at uh, mga tulong-tulong na grace ng family. Praise God for the YAs. Hello, YAs! Sunday ay talaga nagtitinda ng mga hotdog at saka kung ano-ano, bola-bola para makasama lahat. Amen? Amen. May nagbigay na iipo ng barya sa amin na isang natatsuko dun sa isang bigat ng offering niya ang puro barya yata. Sino yung iipo niya yun? Ano? Then yung draft niya. So alam mo naman yung papel at checker kung sulot ng draft ng envelope eh. Kung barya, buong book eh. Okay? So binigay niya na yun sa student and I believe na yun ay sinate niya. Amen po ba? So, sacrificial is up. And why say it? Yung lahat na nanalangin, nagbigay, maliit, malaki, hindi mahalaga yun. Ang mahalaga, you contributed, you prayed for it, and the most important, ay nandito ka because you believe you are part of a family. Malakpakan ko natin yung ating family. So, sa totoo lang po, listen, sa totoo lang, sobra-sobra binigay ni Lord. Diba, Tita Rumi? Tama po ba? O palapakan natin ang Panginoon. Okay? May pang Thanksgiving pa tayo sa Sunday. Diba ba? Pantagdag sa mga sponsor. Amen po? You see? Kaya, pwede ba pasalamatay ng katabi mo? Salamat sa iyo, ha? Sponsor mo. as part of our 25th anniversary. So now, church, today, in our fourth week, so October Praise 2023, this is the fourth Sunday already, our focus is about enlarging our territories through fellowship or through church family. Amen? So ito po ang focus natin. No first week, our focus to enlarge our territory through missions, evangelism, and saturation. And we praise God for souls who are touched and accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. A record just 432 souls won to the Lord, Lord, personally of our October praise. Kaya para pasalamatan natin ang Panginoon. Our second week, we believe that we can enlarge our territories through evangelism and harvest event. Amen? So this is a church where we believe in so many na kung saan hanggang ngayon ang pagbabahagi ng mabuting balita ay bahagi ng misyon ng iglesia. Amen po? And on the third week, okay, by the way, on the second week we have received Uh, yung ating alam mo yun, yung ating uh, decision for I think uh, 42 ang bumalik na uh, pray to receive Jesus Christ and fight na recommitment palagpahan natin yung yeah. yeah. yung iba yata hindi bumalik kung, kung nasa puro sa inyong pag ay pwede yung pakisabi ano? anyway, on the third week last Sunday it expand our territories through discipleship and training as evidenced by two new mga guwapong elders last Sunday yan ang mga young elders so because we are believing that that you know it is as a conference we believe in the empowerment of leaders we believe in developing more leaders for effective ministry amen po at, uh, at hindi po sila uh, Brother TJ at Kuya Bim ang huling i-ordain as elders. 
at mga servant leaders. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, ikaw pwede ka rin. O diba? Diba? Yeah. And because you can always be a leader here. So listen church. Of course, nakita ko natin ang talaga magnapakaganda music festival ng hapon. Nag-bless mo ba kayo? Amen po ba? Amen. Okay. Nag-blow out na ba si Ate Wayne? Nagpa-ice cream na ba? Opo. Di ba? Hindi, pinalik niya kasi yung op, yung na, kaya panalunan niya sa opening basket. Okay, hindi na rin. Anyway. Now, we are now on the fourth Sunday, fourth week, and our focus is expanding our territories through fellowship and church family. Amen. So that is our focus for the sport week. That's why we are here. You know? At sabi ko, nami kanina na si Sir Louis, isang Sunday na lang. Another real Sunday, our Thanksgiving, okay, celebration Sunday, we will give thanks to God, we will honor God, we will give praise to our God for what He has done as we celebrate His goodness and His faithfulness. Palagpakay muli natin na Amen! Hallelujah. God is at work. And while God is at work, our job is to join God in what He is doing. Amen? That is always our principle. When God is at work, we join God. Okay? At His work. So I thank God that the church as a family can continue to advance God's kingdom. God is working in our midst. Amen? Okay? The church as a family. Well, now, there are studies, research among churches recently that sabi dito sa study na ito. Churches nowadays are just adding members by transfer. Okay? Nakakalungkot. Church growth not by soul winning and discipleship or baptism. But church growth by transfer. Lumalaki ang church pero hindi talaga buha lang evangelistic effort and discipleship kundi transfer from other churches. Nakalumpat, ano? Okay? At our study, most mega churches are cycling members kinihigo, ina ang members ng small churches. Yun ang study. Okay? So, Kasi nga naman, pagka malaki, parang okay, no? parang giant, pwede mo ma-attract ma ang members. Kawawa naman yung mga small numbers, mga churches. Number three study shows that churches' back door are wide open. Ano yung back door? You know, may papasok dyan, may back door pala dito. Tao po papasok, ang laki din ng labas. Yun ang back door. Okay? Many of the attendees are not committed members, but church hoppers or just an spectators. Alam mo yung spectators sa church? Nag-observe lang. Nakatingin. Ano? Anong mali? Okay? Or anong dapat doon? But spectators. Who is going in and out of the church? This is what the study shows. Ano? Sabi mga Christians now, ang daling lumabas at lumipat-lipat ng mga churches daw. Okay? Kanila lang meron nag-promote yung CSM, may book na sila. Palipat-lipat, pabalik-balik. Oo, oh, yeah, yeah. there's a new book now uh, produced by CSM. So, palipat-lipat, the members, pabalik-balik lang. Okay? So, ganun ang nangyayari. Why? Some reasons why that research or that study Many Christians decide to look for a comfortable and perfect church. That's why they go around. If they don't like the church, they can always transfer anywhere. And if they're comfortable, they can stay. Yun daw po yan. A church, they're looking for a church that can please them. Alright? Many Christians, I mean, reason number two, are not really committed when they were not committed, they can leave any time pag nagtampo o may dinagustuhan ang daling aalis at nilipat. Oo nga naman. Di ba ba? Dami naman churches dyan eh. 
And number three, sabi nito, many Christians don't see church as their spiritual family. Ito na. Okay? Many Christians, they don't see church where they belong as their family, but simply an attendee. Okay? Ito kaya kung attendee, wala commitment. So, they don't see it as a family where they belong. They don't see it as a family where, you know, in the ups and downs of life of church, they can be counted. Kaya sabi ng research, malaki ang, at bukas ang mga backdoor ng mga churches. Pasok lang mga tao. And here are some suggestions to close the backdoors. To close the backdoors. Number one, Sabi nila, empowering leaders for ministry. Leaders must be empowered. When they are empowered, then they should stay and commit. There should be an intentional discipleship. Committed members. Amen? Church-wide evangelism and missions. Hindi dapat nag-sosowinig sa aquarium. Alam nyo yun? Okay? Maraming churches na so sa winning sa aquarium. Yung saved na. Yung mahuli na. Okay? Ina-atra. Yun yung sinasabi ko. Ang lapad-lapad ng ocean. Ang dami-daming mga isda. Di ba ba? Pero ang iba sa aquarium. Okay? Nangingisda. O syempre, dali ka naman hulihin yun. Di ba ba? Well, and number four, sabi nila, you strengthen in fellowship as a church family. So there you go. We are in the right track. That's why we are here. Because we want to, to develop our fellowship. Kaya nung, nung nag, nag uh, strategize about planning, meron time of, time of visions, the time of uh, evangelism, harvest event, there will be a time for for, for fellowship. That's why sabi nga namin dito, ang bilangin natin, ang isama natin, those whom we think are attending and regular in the church. In fact, this is not a moment for us to evangelize, sabi ko. But if you are here, you know, and you are not sure of, that you are safe, okay, there's still a chance for you. But what we're saying, we are, this is more on, on fellowship. We want to mingle with you. We want to stay with you. We want to talk to you. We want to be on a team, okay, that I haven't talked to from the beginning, okay, from the very beginning. Our desire is to see and meet and encounter more people in this church na hindi pa natin nakakausap. So, so that makes me think, oh nga, we keep advancing God's kingdom, Doing evangelism, listen to your church, and missions, pero ina-attract ng ibang churches. And if we are not taking care of God's family, if we lack fellowship, in a sense, we are also keeping the back door open. Di ba ba? Kapag ka, hindi rin tayo responsible. Now, if the back door is open, how can we enlarge our territories? Amen, church. That's why taking care of the church, strengthening the fellowship, is part of God's agenda if we want to, to enlarge our territories. Lahat tayo ay may responsibilidad. If we are not protecting our church family, if we are not contributing in the strengthening of our church family, if we are not teaching them to be committed, we will not grow and we cannot enlarge our territory. Listen, church. Okay? Alam niyo ba yung larong agawan ng base? Meron ba tayong larong dito ngayon sa sa pamilikan? Wala yun. No? Okay, but everybody knows yung larong agawan ng base. Ang lahat tao nun sa amin sa Mindanao, Lancho. Okay? Where there are two opponent teams, right? Mayroon ba yung base? Di ba ba? Pag umuulang lumabas sa base yung teammate nyo, ahabulin yun. Under yun eh. Pero papahabul mo naman yung bumahabul sa kanya. Dama ba? Okay. But the goal of the 
game is to protect your team member and to protect your base. Diba? Kahit anong bilis mo tumakbo, kung naiwan yung base mo, talo kayo. Tama po ba? Tama po ba? Agawan ng base mo ba yun? Di ba ba? Right. So in a church, no matter how we advance God's kingdom, no matter how, okay, we keep doing so we need. But if we are not taking care of our family, our home base, okay, then we cannot enlarge our territory. You get the point, church? That's why, as we advance God's kingdom, it is also equally important for us to take care of our home base. It is also equally important for us to take care of our family. Amen. Evangelism missions is important. Go and make disciples. But Jesus said, do not neglect the gathering, the fellowship as you see the day of the Lord approaching. In other words, we must keep on cultivating fellowship as a church. So dapat is a balance. Today, church, our message is about protecting our church family. What's our message? How to protect our church family or protecting our church family. Now, there are several verses in the Bible. Number one, in Ephesians chapter 3, verse 4, uh, chapter, uh, sorry, chapter 4, verse 3, it says here, You are joined together with peace through the Spirit. So make every effort to continue together in this way. Sabi ni Paul to the church in Ephesus. In Colossians chapter 3, verse 14, sabi dito, most of all, let love guide your life. For then the whole church will stay together in perfect harmony. How to stay, how the church will stay together in perfect harmony? Let love guide your life. Let God and let love be the center of our being. And in 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 8, sabi dito, and now this word to all of you, you should be like one big happy family. Another one, church? Like one big happy family, full of sympathy toward each other, loving one another with tender hearts and humble minds. You see, church, I can go on and go on and read to you, you know, verses about how the Bible encourages us to cultivate fellowship in the church. You know, listen people of God here. You see, in the Bible, New Testament church is likened to one, a family. Okay? And in church ay ginahaling tulad sa isang family. We are God's family. Amen, church? We belong to God. We are God's children. And who is our Father? The Heavenly Father. Ano ba kaya tayo sa Bible? Those who receive Him, those who receive Him, and those who believe in Him, to them He gave the right to be God. Children of God. When we are children of God, who is our Father? Our Heavenly Father. Amen? God Himself. So, ang tawag sa atin? Children of God. And when we are His children, and we have a Father, okay, then we are family of God. Amen, church? In the Bible, we are also called a body. Ano ba yung body? Okay, we were, we were likened to a body. You see, one body, but many parts. So that's why each one of us ay may mga roles. Also, the church is likened to a flock. Okay? A sheep, a flock. And then also the Bible said that we are also like a bride. And Jesus is the bridegroom. And also, we are an army of God. Amen, church? So, yun po yung mga picture kung ano ang uh, isang church. Today, let us focus on the church as a family. Amen? As a family. And who is the church? You are the church. We are the church. The church is not the building. Amen? Amen, church? Amen. Ang tao, ang mga mananampalataya, ang mga believers, 
Sila ang church. Okay? So you don't survive to the church in Philippi, to the church in Colossae, to the church, in other words, to the believers there, not the building. Okay? So now, as part of the church, it is your job to protect the unity of the church or the enemy will come and destroy it. Death and death. The enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. You see, listen people of God. Don't you know that unity in the church is so important that the Bible gives more attention to it than either in heaven or hell? God deeply desires that we experience oneness and harmony with each other. Unity is the soul of fellowship. Destroy it and you rip the heart out of Christ's body. You know, our supreme model for unity is the Trinity. The Son and the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit are completely unified as one. They are one. Okay? We worship one God, not three gods. Hello? Amen po ba? They're united as one. Okay? So, sila ang good example ng unity. Hindi sila nag-complain, they judge members of God's family. Don't let the devil use you as his agent of destroying God's family. Ang kapagamit sa job bro. My friend, don't criticize. Be an encourager. Okay? Maganda ministry yan eh. Yung minister of encouragement. Kaya, Sabi mo nga sa katabi mo, you know what? I'm always blessed to see you serving the Lord. Amen. Kung ako'y nagkukuha, nagkagawa, na nakikita ko, nagilingkod ka sa Diyos. Amen. Kaya, saludo ako sa mga nagilingkod sa Pahit. Yes, conference, don't withhold, listen here, do not withhold praises or appreciation intended for others. Huwag uh, ka insecure. In fact, be extravagant. If you want to praise, if you want to, you know, to appreciate somebody, be extravagant. Huwag mo sabihin, pabigil ba? Alam mo, ang galing mo sana worship kid eh. Pero kaso naliit na ba niya? Huwag ka nalang sumayaw sa sunod. Kaliwa, dalawang kaliwa yung pato eh. Okay na sana eh. Magaling kang worship leader, pinansin mo pa kung sasayaw niya. Di ba? Hindi ka yung para. Tawa? Di ba? Be extravagant. You know, if you want to, to, to appreciate, appreciate. Di ba? Di ba ba niya? My friend, don't criticize. Be an encourager. Magandang ministry yan. Okay? Don't withhold any praises, any thanksgiving, any appreciation for any member of the family. Alam niyo, ang encouragement, nakaka-revive ng spirit niya. Yes. Opo, alam niyo, kahit sa araw ng Sunday, okay, gusto kong sabihin sa'yo, maraming mga tao na nasa church na down and discouraged. Kaya, yeah, kahit elders niyo, kahit pastors niyo, kahit cell group leader mo, Tao din kasi yung mga yan. Yan ang buwan. May mga problema din yan. May mga pangilya din yan. May mga business din yan. May mga trabaho din yan. Na maybe at one time naman a discouraging moment. Okay? Would you like to be an instrument of encouragement? Kaya huwag okay, kayo ma-intimidate na mag-pray, mag-minister, kahit sa mga pastors niyo o kaya mga sir, mga elders niyo. Just to minister to them. Who knows? They too are down and discouraged. They too are in pain. They too are facing, you know, a big problem. Okay? Kaya, wala pong wrong timing sa pag-encourage. It's always the right timing. Amen po ka, church? To encourage people. How can you encourage him? Like, Sunday ko, sinasabi ko, your presence is already an encouragement. Kaya, mind the church. Hindi tayo, pastor yun, elder yun, o di kaya may aman to, o di kaya baka self sa mga leaders ito. Wala silang mga need or hindi sila maaranas ng discouragement. No. 
Kaya sana kayo rin po ay maging daluya at instrumento ng Diyos para maging encouragement. So, uh, this is how I, I always appreciate Jamie. Where are you, Jamie? Okay, Jamie. No, no, no. Really, uh, uh, since JP came to the church, his ministry is to give me always the microphone. Stand up. Okay, ang una ka, ganito, observe by me. Lulood siya, magmaman. Kung may pack, yung insa niya, nilalagyan niya na ako ng microphone, tapos nasa, ay, hindi ba kailangan ako magmaman. Tatanggalin niya ulit, tapos magmaman. Ano ba? This is step one, step two, and then. Three times hands, pag-prepare si Pastor. Ang sarap, no? Okay? So, may ibig sabihin, baka, kaya ay na be blessed at all at uh, mayroong tao na pray sa pastor, you know? You know, you know what our prayer, ang prayer natin ay isang every day, every morning, okay, so we come to the Lord together as a couple, Lord, use us as a channel of your blessings today. That is always part of our prayer. Lord, help us to be uh, a dispenser of your grace. Oo, huwag na lang panalangin natin po na lang, Lord, give me this, give me this, Lord, pwede naman ng ganito. Pero di ba, yung ba, gamitin ka naman ni Lord ang prayer. Di ba, basta ma-address you. Yes, so pray that, you know, every day is an opportunity for you to minister. Okay? Kaya dahil yun ang prayer mo, okay, the Lord will give you a situation where you will encourage others. Yes. Be an encourage. Okay, sabi sa katabi mo, ay mo, akal mo na encourage ako sa iyo. Number three, how to protect our family, church family. Number three, okay, listen here. Refuse to listen to gossip. Okay? Huwag kang magbarites. If you want to protect your church, refuse to listen to gossip. Okay? Huwag kang magbarites o makinig sa chismis. Well, what, what, is, what is gossip? Gossip is passing on information when you are neither part of the problem or part of the solution. Parang wala naman pakialam, di ba? Pero gusto mo lang malaman yung iba. Di ba ba? So, whether that is true or not, hindi mo naman pakialam, ang ko pakialam sabihin. Tama ba? Okay? Kung gusto mo lang na, sabihin. Okay? Or passing only half part of the story. So, rumor lang yun. Okay? So, kaya pag yun naman tama ba yan? Opo. Iwan ko. Basta narinig ko lang. Spreading gossip is wrong. It is a sin. And you should not get involved to it. If you want to protect your church family. Kaya sinasabi ko lagi sa cell leaders. Pag cell leaders training, pag SOL, sabi ko, if you can solve the problem in yourself, okay, let it stay there. Huwag mo nang sabihin kay pastor o sa sino mang elder. Now, if you need help, okay, if you need help, I am always open to help. Amen? Pero, kung mga bagay na kaya na, kahit hindi ko na dapat nalang, si Lord na ang, ang, ang mag-bless sa inyo. Gossip is an instrument of the devil to destroy relationships. Relationship in churches, in, of couples, of friends and families. Okay? Eh, ang dami na kaya na wasak na tanganan dahil sa Jesus. Di ba? Kaya hindi ako nag-artist ka eh. Oh. Ayun na. Kasi... Baka pa pag-chismisan ka. Anyway, you see church. So now, how to deal with gossip? Okay, so so paano pastor dog? How to test if it is a gossip? So like for example, if someone is passing on judgment to you, or information to you, pag may ginugulong sa'yo, Hoy, alam mo ba? Alam mo na ba? 
Okay, be careful. Pagkaganoon na. So, ang tanong mo ngayon, saan mo narinig niya? Ah, basta narinig ko. Pagkaganoon, eh, alam mo, chismis yun. Ah, basta narinig ko lang. Okay, then, say to the person, stop it. Now, pag sinabi niya, eh, sinabi niya ang source, kaya sabi ni ganito. Now, ang tanong mo, sunod, have you talked to that person? Na, na sinasabi mo sa akin, hindi pa, okay, siya mo nang dapat mong sabihan. Hindi mo na kailangan. Pag sabihin, dapat mo ba? So, ganun po yun. So, but if no, then stop. Para hindi na iikot ang kwento. So, listen. If you listen and entertain gossip, the Bible says, you are a troublemaker. Okay? Kasi sabi na Proverbs 17.4, troublemakers listen to troublemakers and liars listen to liars. May verse pala sa Bible na gano'n, no? Okay? If you listen to troublemakers, troublemakers ka rin. If you listen to liars, then liars ka rin. Well, okay? Sabi ng Proverbs 16.28, A perverse person stirs up conflict and a gossip separates close friends. Tama, no? Nakalungkot that in God's plan, listen, in the church, the greatest wounds comes from eldership, not from wolves. Yun ang nakakalungkot. Kung yung mga sugatan ng mga tupa ay galing din sa mga tupa dahil yung tupa ay naging kambing, sinungay niya. Hindi dahil sa mga wolves. So kaya Galatians 5.15 But if you bite and devour one another, watch out that you, along with your entire fellowship, are not consumed by one another. So listen, people of God. Kaya, the fastest way to end church or subgroup conflict is to lovingly confront those who are gossiping and insist that they should stop it. Okay? Pag may kilala kayo na, nakakasila sa fellowship, confront that person personally. Okay? Para hindi na magkakaroon pa ng maraming damage. So, please help stop the gas. Number four. How to protect your church family? Apply God's method of conflict resolution. Ano po yung bang tinutukay ng God's conflict of resolution? Yun po nasusulat sa Matthew chapter 18, verse 15 and 17. Ito po yun ang God's conflict of resolution. If your brother and sister sins, go and point out their fault just between the two of you. Okay? If they listen to you, you have won the war. But if they will not listen, take one or two others along so that every matter may be established by the testimony of two or three witnesses. If they still refuse to listen, Tell it to the church, and if they refuse to listen, even to the church, treat them as you would a pagan or a tax collector. Or another translation, an unbeliever. Ano po sabi dito? Okay? How to apply God's okay, conflict resolution? Sabi dito, in resolving conflict with someone, rather than gossiping, Apply God's method of conflict resolution. What is God's conflict of resolution? Privately approach the person peacefully and settle the matter. Okay? So, may naka-offend. O may alam kang may mali. So, rather than of you, you know, tell the whole church, why don't you, you love the brother, why don't you approach the brother or a sister and say, point out, his wrong or her wrong. Okay? Now, pag hindi naman siya, ayaw niya mag-cooperate at ayaw niya talaga mamanin, then sabi dito, bring one or two witness to establish an affirm and for reconciliation. Pag ayaw pa rin, then bring it to the church. Pag ayaw niya pa rin maginig sa church, then yung sabi niya, treat the person like an unbeliever. Okay? So, kaya na meron tayong mga tinatawag na mga kinidigay. Ano? 
reduce mag pa sa bilid sa church. Number five, how to protect your church family? Support your pastor and leaders. Okay? Support your pastors and leaders. There are no perfect pastors and leaders. There are no perfect elders. But God gives leaders the responsibility and the authority to maintain the unity of the church. Pastors are God's under shepherd. They are God's gift to the church. They are called and appointed by God. That's why the Bible says to honor those who are in authority. To submit to those in authority. Every God ordained authority. You know, pastors often have the unpleasant task of serving as mediator between hurt, conflicting, or immature, or EGR members. They are also given the impossible task of trying to make everyone happy, which even Jesus could not do. Diba? You know, the job of making everyone happy, you know, hindi ginawa ni Jesus yun. Maraming na offend. Diba? Maraming tumalabat sa kanya. Kasi hindi sila natutuwa sa mga sagot niya. Kasi pinatamang sila. You see, it's not easy to be a leader or a pastor. Kaya, as a pastor, sabi ko, I always say, I strongly advise to anyone, if you are not sure you are called by God to be a pastor, then, okay, don't be a pastor. Mahirap. Okay? Pero kung totoong tinawag ka, truly, the Lord will protect you, the Lord will sustain you by His grace. At masarap at masaya maging Panginoon. Especially if God's people, you know, support you. Okay? The Bible is very clear about how we have to relate to those who served us. In Hebrews chapter 13, verse 17, sabi dito, Be responsive to your pastoral leaders. Listen to their counsel. They are alert to the condition of your lives and work under strict supervision of God. Contribute to the joy of their leadership and not its tragic tragedy. Why would you want to make things harder for them? You know, pastors will one day stand before God and give an account on how they watch over you. One day, I will give an account to God on how, okay, I did my job of overseeing the church God has entrusted to me. It is God who will deal with me. It is God who will deal with pastors. How to serve God's plan. They are accountable to God. Ang tawag namin yan sa accounting, balance sheet. Alam mo, ang assets mo, ang liabilities mo, ang capital mo. Okay? Ganun din, makikita lang. Sabi ng Hebrews chapter 13 verse 17, Because they keep watch over you. But you know what? You are accountable too, okay, of how well you followed and supported your pastors and leaders. God serve them. Alam niyo, PCEC declared the month of October as Pastors Appreciation Month. Okay? It's a nationwide, I, I don't know if it's worldwide. So most churches and pastors posted on, on Facebook, on social media, their gifts and what they receive and what they, uh, how they treat their pastors, okay, the workers of the church, and, uh, and because we are too busy, what I am posting are ministries, activities, events, so many missions. And one lady asked me, said in that, Pastor Don, don't you have Pastor Appreciation Sunday? Said in that, ah, said in that, you know, Pastor Appreciation at church I mean, is not just one Sunday every year, it is every day. Yes, bakit lang pag one Sunday? So, I answered her, you know, a conference, sort of, you know, exaggerating. Every day is a pastor's appreciation day. Not just in October or a Sunday. Sabi niya, wow, sana all. 
Ang sabi niya, no, not curious lang ako, bakit yun pala? Kung ano regalo ng check mo sa'yo, kasi last year binigay ka po, check. Ano nung paloon mo po? Ang compress na bigay ng kotse. Uh, antayin niyo po yung tiny house in private price. So, tinitingnan pa lang. Pasikat ang pa lang. It's not that. Sabi ko, honestly, you know, the church, that's why I love this church family. That's why, you know, uh, we, talaga, we purpose in this. Just to give you a message of how we love this church and how we are so blessed serving God with you because you are there for being very supportive of your life. And honestly, by God's grace, I will not be here standing for you for the last 25 years. You see, people like the Pinars, the Pidals, the Grabadors, more than 20 years na kayo nakikinig sa akin ng palagi every Sunday. Ah, kung ano, tatuto po, mabibless naman sila. Ah, Tanungin niyo nga sila. Hindi, <laughs> baro ba ang mahal, no? Oh, no, okay? Sabi ko, nagiging mo lang ba ba kaya sila sa akin? But I saw, I am so humble to see people like that. Okay? That's why, give me your mind. Kung hindi ko sa biyaya, shall it not for the support, the love of your leaders, of your elders, you know, ako nang bigyan. And this is what family is all about. Church, we protect the church family when we honor and support those who serve us by, by leading. Not only your pastors, I mean, support your elders. Support your self-self-group leader. Amen? They are our leaders too. They, you know, they are taking part to pastor a small group. Can you imagine pastor those? You know, if pastoring, preaching on a Sunday to, to have a 1,350 people, an average on a Sunday, don't you know that your cell leader is also pastoring a small group of 5 to 10, 15 people? Okay? For a Monday, it's a five rooms. Ganun po ang pinapastor ni Dr. Rolia to. Hindi lang sila doon sa That is the essence of a several church. Okay? That we are not just the one shepherding you. Okay? But they too are and shepherd them. This is what we believe. That's why, you know, Acts chapter 2 will always be our model. How the, the apostles, okay, when they grew to more than 3,000 people, and how they choose leaders to handle small groups in their homes. And that's why to many of you, to the 50 cell group leaders, and enters here. I salute you. Thank you so much. God bless you. Keep on. The Lord will reward. Ano yung kalakasan natin yung isa't isa? Sa church, sa subgroup, sa ministry. Support each other. Church, by God's grace. As we move forward and enlarge our territory. Tonight, by grace. I challenge you to accept your responsibility to protect and promote the unity of the church. I want us to bow down right here, all our hands. Let me ask you this question. What are you doing personally to protect the unity of the church? Remember the points we heard tonight. Focus on what we have in common. Not in our differences. Be an encourager and do not criticize. Stop listening to gossip. Apply God's way of conflict resolution. Support your pastors. Support your leaders. Support your sovereignty. Hallelujah. We need to get Romans chapter 14, verse 19. So let us concentrate 
on the things which need make for harmony and on the growth of one another's character. Father, I thank you for this church family. I thank you, Lord, that there is a community of Christ Church in Pananyaki and other places in the Philippines. Maybe a small church, but with a big one. Maybe a small church, but with a great impact to win the lost, to make disciples, to embrace young people, senior adults, children, being in the slum area, in the city, in tribes and nations. Lord, we want to see this church enlarging our territories. Help us, Lord, that first of all, to love one another as a church family, to protect each other, to protect this family against the work of the evil one. Help us, Lord, to know what you want to do the family. And to meet everyone, bless them. In Jesus' name.